Hardware Accelerated Machine Learning is a key technology in hardware and software development. So far we knew that the RDNA2 architecture can support hardware based machine learning. We have heard that the technology is in the Xbox consoles, but we didn't hear any specifics. But just a few days ago, TensorFlow Direct Machine Learning has been released for Windows PCs in conjunction with AMD's RDNA2 technology. And so today we are going to talk about this announcement, break it down in understandable words and we will discuss what it means for Xbox gamers and we talk about the general potential of the machine learning technology for gaming. Hello gamers from around the world, this is Archimedes, the video game enthusiast from Germany with a tech focused video on machine learning and its possibilities for gaming. It's been a while since we talked about technology on my channel so I'm excited to break these latest news down for you. But before we discuss everything you should treat yourself and set your player to full 4K 60fps to get the best audio visual experience I can deliver to you. And while you are at it, please also consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content, cause in case you enjoy yourself while watching this video, I would greatly appreciate your support. Ok, but now let's talk about hardware accelerated machine learning and its potential for video games. Its potential is currently focused mainly on image enhancement techniques, but there would also be potential for instance for better simulation or AI. However, at the moment machine learning in video games is basically used as an image enhancement tool, which makes total sense. Today we spend a lot of computational resources to get our image quality up to a 4K resolution. This takes up a lot of resources that could also be invested in other things like for instance improving the actual graphical fidelity like better lighting effects, better particle effects, more details in the world etc etc. So it makes only sense for game developers to aim at lower internal resolutions and then use a smart technology to upscale the image that is rendered for instance at 1440p and then upscale it to a native 4k resolution without sacrificing the image quality. PC gamers are already very very familiar with that kind of technology because Nvidia has been pushing their technology DLSS2 for quite a while now and with amazing results. It is really hard to sometimes distinguish a native 4K image from an upscaled version via DLSS 2.0 or 2.1. Nvidia is using so called tensor cords on their RTX graphic cards to boost the AI based machine learning algorithm. We have not seen any hardware boosted upscaling technology so far from AMD which is kind of weird because even Intel is now coming into that space. Intel is usually not really known for high-end graphic cards. Their GPUs were kind of these onboard solutions. They are more centered in the low tier segment. But recently they announced that they want to go into the high-end graphic card business basically as a direct competitor to Nvidia and AMD. They have introduced for their upcoming GPU generation a technology called XESS. That's Intel's upcoming neural supersampling technology. Again, a hardware accelerated technology that uses an AI to upscale the image quality. And looking at their first demo here, it is really promising and could be an actual competitor towards Nvidia's DLSS. And considering that Intel makes also CPUs and now GPUs, that could be an actual alternative towards AMD when it comes to an APU manufacturing for consoles. But I don't want to digress too much, that's probably a topic for another video and I want to focus here on the actual topic at hand. Now in our consoles, the Xbox series consoles and the PlayStation 5, we have AMD technology and AMD is not a stranger to image enhancement technologies. AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, in short FSR, is already out there. The first games that are using that technology have already launched on PC as well as on consoles. Just for instance, the upcoming Far Cry 6 will also use FSR to boost the gameplay up to 60 FPS without losing details in the world. However, AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution is not a hardware accelerated machine learning technology. AMD developed FSR specifically as an open source project. It can be used across all kinds of GPUs, even from their direct competitors. And even though that is a great technology, it is not quite on par with Nvidia's DLSS 2.1. Don't get me wrong, there is a lot of potential for AMD's FSR technology and I'm glad that it is out there because we need these images image enhancement technologies even without machine based learning algorithms. And that is why this latest announcement is quite interesting because now Microsoft and AMD have announced and I quote now. 
TensorFlow Direct Machine Learning, one of the accessible machine learning tools that are designed to work across a broad spectrum of hardware, specifically GPUs, has been released for Windows PCs in conjunction with AMD's RDNA 2 technology. This new machine learning from AMD shows an initial 3.7 improvement on inference performance and up to a 4.4 improvement on overall AI benchmark alpha scores. Okay, before you go out now and say, oh, we get a 4.4 times improvement in frame rates or whatnot. No, this is a benchmark that was related to an AI training performance. Basically, it says how fast can the AI be trained to do whatever it is supposed to do, meaning in our case in video games, that would be learning how to improve the image quality. So let's break that a little bit down. What is it and what does it mean? Well, first of all, it's finally a life sign of machine learning on the RDNA 2 architecture. Last year, in the lead up to the launch of the current gen consoles, especially Xbox talked about the capabilities of the RDNA 2 hardware in the consoles being able to make use of hardware accelerated machine learning. Now it's not like it wasn't possible to do machine learning so far. The Direct Machine Learning API in the DirectX 12 Ultimate suit was already available in preview since last year, but it isn't necessarily a hardware accelerated technique that allows for machine learning applications almost in any devices. This is now specifically tailored for AMD's RDNA 2 architecture. Again, this isn't an Xbox specific announcement, but an AMD RDNA 2 related one. And I quote now from the announcement. This GPU accelerated training works on any DirectX 12 compatible GPU and AMD Radeon and Radeon Pro graphic cards are fully supported. This provides our customers with even greater capabilities to develop machine learning models using their devices with AMD Radeon graphic cards and Microsoft Windows 10. These updates will let you benefit from all the performance improvements that both Microsoft and AMD have enabled throughout the development of TensorFlow Direct Machine Learning. So quite the interesting announcement and I'm looking forward to see what developers will do with that technology. And with that, I already want to come to my conclusion. We have yet to see what this technology can actually do and if it might lead to an actual competitor to DLSS 2.0 from Nvidia or Intel's technology. Cause that seems to be a technology that AMD is not up to date at the moment and we will see if this will help to catch them up. Hardware based machine learning is truly a great potential for future graphics in video games because it allows us to finally make use of the computational resources to get better graphics and not higher resolutions. And now that we have already two main players in that field with Nvidia and Intel, it is time for AMD to catch up. Fidelity FX Super Resolution was the first step. It is a great technology that is open and still in its infancies and it will get better over time. But to get to the same level we need that machine learning which is in our Xbox consoles and it seems that these kind of technologies are now getting unlocked for developers to explore. And that's the good news here and a quote again now from the announcement. Users that own DirectX 12 compatible AMD Radeon graphic cards and utilizing the most recent AMD Radeon software adrenaline drivers, you can start using TensorFlow Direct ML right now. So given the state of the world right now with the pandemic still going on, it's only logical that these technologies will roll out time after time and it just shows us that we haven't seen anything about the true potential of our current generation of consoles just yet. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please do not forget Get to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell and if you want to support the channel even further you can now become a channel member and get early access to my videos and custom made badges and emojis and let me thank everyone who supports this channel in any kind of way you guys are awesome and make this channel to what it is and now let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this technology do you think amd will catch up to their competitors and besides here on YouTube, you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now, thank you very much for watching, I see you the next time and game on!